Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, September 14th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. This is a mountain from Central Asia, the Pamir mountain range. As you can see, there are people standing near the base of this particular summit, giving you a sense of proportion, a very small sense of proportion. These distant ranges in Central Asia are very remote to us, north of the Himalayas and the Tibetan Plateau. Oh, hello, pistachio. Did you come to say hello? Hello. Yeah. And they remind us of the immensity of God's creation. Right, pistachio? We are in chapter 38 now of the book of Job, and we finally hear from God. Robert Alter, the great Hebrew scholar who has spent 40 years translating the Hebrew scriptures, says of this part of the book of Job, the poetry of Job himself is magnificent. And then when God speaks, it's somehow even better. And it parallels Job's poetry of his dark days in a totally different way, a shining light and perspective on things that are far beyond our understanding. And many of you may know the way it opens well. God says, then the Lord answered Job from the whirlwind or from the storm and said, who is this? who darkens counsel in words without knowledge. Who were, who are you? Do you know anything? God says, were you there when I hemmed in the seas and wrapped them in clouds? Were you there when I shaped the mountains? Were you there when I created the earth? Have you seen into the darkness of death and beyond? In other words, you do not understand the workings of God and you are incapable of understanding those same workings. And you need to understand and be humble. Humble doesn't mean that you think you're a jerk or bad in any way. Humble means knowing you're human, humus, humble. We are not God. We do not understand. And any attempt to understand and answer questions that for our brains are unanswerable is presumptuous. And it makes God frustrated. God made us to serve one another, to love God, to adore God, but not to understand the workings of the universe. God adores it when we try and we can learn little by little, we are awakening to new things. But to think that we could understand the meaning of all this and why we suffer is presumptuous. Who are you, God says? Don't you know who you are? Why are you trying to be me? You cannot, you are too small, trust me. Trust that I know what I'm doing. Let us pray. Almighty God, how impossible it is for us to understand why, why we suffer, why we struggle. But we do know that this world is so incredibly made, so beautiful, so magnificent and intricate in ways we could have never fathomed, and every day our scientists discover more. And so we thank you. We thank you that in the book of Job, you just tell us that we don't understand and that we cannot see what you see. We thank you that we can see the mountains, that we can see the ocean and the works of your creation. We thank you for our friendships and our lives and our loved ones. I will pause and let you give thanks for anything you're grateful for today.
We ask you, Lord, to bless the sick and the suffering and those who mourn. I will pause and let you speak aloud the names of people in your life who need prayer. Call us, O Lord, into your service today. May we trust you. May we walk as Jesus walked, love as Jesus loved, do as Jesus did, pray as Jesus prayed. Fill us with your Holy Spirit today, Lord, that although we don't understand why things happen, we do know that you made this beautiful world and you made us, and you have given us an example in Jesus. For this, we give you thanks as we step out into the day today. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.